it's first lady here and as you can see i am in the kitchen and if you're wondering what to do with some of your thanksgiving leftovers well i have an idea let's make a breakfast frittata or perhaps we could call it just a breakfast quiche how about that so i have here a pie crust i have some cheese left over i have some eggs i have some heavy whipping cream I have a bell pepper and a half of an onion. I have some potato wedges here and some ham. So I'm gonna make a breakfast quiche. All right, let's go ahead and let's get all these ingredients prepped and let's get them in this pie crust and let's bake it in the oven. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have four large eggs here that I'm just going to crack in the bowl and add the heavy whipping cream and just whisk it and it's going to go into this beautiful breakfast quiche and I love breakfast and I love things that you can just make in one uh, dish so where you can just kind of just put all the ingredients in one bowl or one skillet and so if you like that too then you can probably watch my other videos where i have the kitchen sink breakfast bowl but this is going to be a quiche so this is the four large eggs and you can even use more eggs if you want uh, and this is the heavy whipping cream so i'm just going to make this really really rich by adding the heavy whipping cream So we don't want to beat it too much, all right? And of course, we're gonna have some cheddar cheese. This is just mild cheddar cheese. And I like this in chunks, but I'm just gonna slice it up a little bit in bits and pieces that's gonna go right in. And you can make this as cheesy or as not if you want. You can even leave out the cheese if you don't want extra cheese but of course this is dairy so it's going to be eggs with heavy cream and so now that we've gotten that situated now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients so we have the bell pepper the onion these potato wedges that i've chopped up and this leftover ham from the holiday all right so we're going to go ahead and make this sort of a rustic quiche so here is the pie plate that we have this is a deep dish regular deep dish pie crust all right so this is just going to go right in all right and i can move some of this cheese around if i don't want it all sort of concentrated in one place now in terms of the ingredients i'm just going to mix them up a little bit and I like it to where you can see all of the ingredients. So, so I'm just gonna kind of sort of spread it out evenly. So with all the ingredients, you can see just how this is gonna be filled. You can see the potatoes, the onions, bell peppers, onions, ham, and the cheese, all right? All right, so the other thing and the final thing that I need to do is just put a little bit of black pepper on top. So when I do that, I'll put a little bit of black pepper on top. All right, you can see just how nice it looks all right this is a beautiful quiche so i'm going to put it on a baking dish and it's going to bake in the oven for about one hour so here's my baking dish i'm going to put it onto this baking dish all right all right there you have it this is going to go in the oven for one hour this is our breakfast quiche and i will show you what it looks like when it's ready to come out
All right, I'll be back. All right, the quiche is almost ready. Just wanted you guys to see. It's been in there for a little while, so it's almost ready. Almost ready to come out. I'll be back. All right, it's time to take this beautiful quiche out of the oven. And it's going to have to cool probably before about 20, 15 or 20 minutes. But you can see it's not jiggly inside anymore so that we know that the eggs have cooked. We have the onions, bell peppers, we have the cheese and that heavy cream. Oh my, and those potatoes. So this is like a leftover quiche. Using the leftover ingredients. I had bell pepper, I had onion, I had a little ham, I had some potatoes, of course. And it's just, it looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna let it cool and I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like when I slice it and get ready to taste it. This is the beautiful quiche that I have made and I am ready to cut into it. As you can see, I have just put some wonderful fruit on the side. And so I'm going to go ahead and slice into it. It has been in the oven for about an hour. And then of course it has taken a few minutes to cool. And so I'm hoping that it is fully set um, with the egg, the ham, the cheese, bell pepper, the onions, of course, those potatoes and eggs, of course, with the heavy whipping cream. All right, so this is a quiche. Usually about a five minute recipe. It doesn't take very long to make. All right, so there you have it. The beautiful quiche. You can see all of the ingredients that are right in there. All right, and it's a buttery crust. Oh my, this is going to be so good. All right, so now, let me go ahead and just taste it, let you guys see just how delicious it is. It is cheesy, creamy. Oh, you can see that cheese. Oh, all right, here we go. Time to taste. Mmm. This is delicious. Mmm. I love quiche. You can take this to a breakfast fellowship, a brunch, anything that you're having where you need to have a wonderful dish that you can have and give to the host or whatever. This is an excellent recipe. It doesn't take any time. Put it together in the pie crust. Remember, this is a deep dish pie crust. So you can see, you can just see just had to get that little piece of ham there. Mm. But you can see just how set it is, how beautiful it is. Golden brown on top. This is gonna be your go-to recipe when you want a beautiful, elegant dish that you can serve to you and your family and your friends for the holiday or any time of the year, all right? So don't forget, like this video share this video with family and friends people you know who can benefit from this content like this video share subscribe to my channel please if you haven't already and also leave me a comment let me know what you think about this quiche recipe it is so amazing all right i love you guys thank you again for watching and I continue to be blessed